Professor Smith, a lot of people have been shocked by this scandal that has broken out with the New Orleans Saints about them literally paying a bounty if there is a, a hard hit or somebody taken off the field on a stretcher. What do you think of this scandal and what does it say about football at both the pro and college level? Well, I think it's a travesty, but I'm pleased that it's coming to the surface so that it can be dealt with. Uh, what happens to these players later in life is horrendous from these injuries. They think as they play at this period of time, everything's going to be fine. It was like Brett Favre saying, well, it's just part of the game. I don't think he's going to think that when he's 55 years old and he's paying the price for this kind of activity that could be avoided and must be. So now the general manager and the head coach of the Saints have taken responsibility for it and they've apologized. What do you think of what they've said? Well, I think that's fine. I don't think an apology really is uh, sufficient. I have one worry, and that is that they are just perpetuating part of the problem. We'll take this one for the team. I think they may rue the day. How if so? The if the commissioner is true to his word, and he has said that these will be the toughest penalties in his five and a half years as commissioner, then I think they should do what we did when I served on the in, in, with the NCAA and uh, have an order to show cause indicating that the coach's career is either over or they're not going to coach for two years or five years, depending on what the penalty is. So they may pay a very high price for having taken one for the team. With what you know right now, let's say you are Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, what would you do? I would, at a minimum, I don't have all the facts, but the ones that I've seen are bad enough that I would put them out of coaching for a minimum of two years. I would have a very stiff penalty that would go fine, that would go into a fund that we need to begin to develop more fully to help with injuries later in life for the players that suffer them. What is the systemic problem here with uh, the game of football, both at the college level and at the pro level? Well, I think the systemic problem is that uh, th this whole notion of taking one for the team or it's unmanly in some way to not play through a serious injury or that it's manly to create or to per perpetrate a major injury. There is nothing manly about that. Uh, that that's uh, brutal. This root is a brute. Uh, and, and football, at its best, is a wonderfully thoughtful game. Hours are spent preparing. It is not simply about brutality. And we have to face that as a reality. And this notion of taking one for the team, or playing through injuries, or not recognizing the impact of head injuries. Or deliberately hurting someone. Or worse yet deliberately hurting someone has to come to an end. This is a real test for the NFL. Will they step up and take one as a man? And in that sense, Roger needs to be true to his word, we're going to mete out the stiffest penalties because they're merited. And they need, I believe, to put in place the following sort of system. I suspect this is not isolated to the Saints. They're investigating. If the teams, the coaches cooperate, then maybe it's one or two years the coach leaves. If they discover that a coach didn't cooperate or did anything to impede the investigation, then their career needs to be terminated forthwith. Anything else you'd like to add? I, again, I think it's a grand moment at one level. 
It's an opportunity for us to deal with a real problem. And it goes all the way, you mentioned to college, but it's high school. 20% of these young high school players suffer concussions in a given year. 10% of college players do. These are the ones that they don't hide. If it's 10% a year for a college player in five years, the likelihood that they've suffered a con concussion is uh, one in two. And then the neuroscience tells us that it's really the sub-concussions that we ought to worry about. And the typical NFL lineman, as we expand to 18 games, is going to suffer repeated head trauma. And to think that they won't suffer later in life because of that is just to be foolish. We need to also think about cutting the length of the season, not expanding it. All the money you make from those extra games cannot pay for the hundreds of men who will suffer later in life and that society as a whole will pay for their medical care.